it's Psycho Chicken Films, and we are doing another GIMP tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be doing a matte painting. What was that? Okay. Okay. So to get started, what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to bring into a background. So I just got this nice island photo and it's kind of small and so what we're gonna do is we are gonna do this then I'm gonna bring in a, a one above it and this is just a picture of some mountains and what I want to do is I'm gonna make it so they're fixed together if you didn't know what a map painting was so you can do this with mo as many images as you want it's just how much time most people do it in Photoshop so, so I'm going to bring in the other one. This one should be probably bigger. Or not. So, yeah. Let's zoom out so you see everything. So this one is actually noticeably be bigger. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. So I can see. Sorry. My computer is mentally retarded today. So what what I'm doing is I'm scaling it and right here you're gonna see that it is locked if you make sure you click on this so if it's separated it won't do anything but if it's locked then it'll all move and keep the so I can only do it by that much. So that'll shrink it down noticeably. So let's zoom back in by holding shift and putting the plus button on your keyboard. Or if you just have a plus button on mine, it's weird. So next what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna right click on the mountains layer. Go down to add layer mask. Make sure it is at white full opacity. Click add. Now take your paintbrush, make sure it's on a fuzzy brush, turn up the size big enough, and just erase this stuff that we do not want, because I want that water. So what I recommend is making it so it's transparent a little bit so you can see, okay, I want this, I want that, I don't want this. Okay, so like I wanted all this water. So what you're going to want to keep on doing is just erase as much as you want. Okay. <clears throat> Next, what you're going to want to do is turn back the to 100%. And if you look now, I've already created one. And if you're worrying about what that thumping is, it is my mentally retarded siblings, basically. Um... So now that we've done that, then we're going to right click on the mountain layer because I just wanted to do this. If I turned it off, you could see those mountains. I didn't really want them. I just wanted this nice lake area. So you're going to right click, put apply layer mask. Now it's just going to do that. Now right click again, put alpha to selection. So to just select that, you're going to control, well no right click go down to edit copy right click edit paste as new layer now what you're gonna want to do is grab the flip tool it is right here you're gonna do that now select vertical now click select none and now just click on the layer and it'll be all inverted like a reflection what you're going to want to do is move it down so it is sorry I had to make that bigger uh, right with the water so it's going to take a little time because of how big the images are So 
but I'm having a really stressful day right now. That's good. Now what you're going to want to do. Uh, oh, really? So now I'm just moving it by the arrow keys just to get it. Now what you're going to want to do is turn down the opacity a lot, literally. And now you're going to grab the bleh, pen tool and you're just going to select wherever you want it on this, just around the around the sandy area that's not next you want to go to select feather it and you're going to want to feather this by a lot but not too much but a lot and then you're just going to press delete now go select none now turn the opacity back up to 100 and you'll see that you have a reflection in the water right now. So what you're going to want to do, because it looks really weird, is just set it to screen. Let's see if that is the way to do this one. Oops. So set the normal layer to normal. Now set the clipboard layer, whatever it was, to... Ugh. Set the layer of the reflection to screen. Ugh, sorry. Okay, sorry, my mistake. I'm gonna just be trying other things, so. Actually, okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to change the layer, keep the layer at normal. Now turn the opacity down so it's barely there, but you can still see that it's there. And then you are done with a basic matte painting in GIMP. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, sorry about that thumping and the whatever. If you guys could catch, if it caught in the video yeah so don't forget to rate comment and subscribe uh thank you